Gladys, come down. Forgrim, let's get you a pale ale. Alas, the beer tastes only half as good without Ardo. Those were the days back then. None of you has ever told me what actually happened back then. Because it's a secret. Yes, that's what you keep telling me over and over. Hmm. Maybe you're old enough for it now. Listen. It's a story about betrayal and greed, and the beginning of a friendship. A young, previously unknown adventurer was also with us. Otherwise, we would probably not have pulled it off. Somehow, this person got entangled in our problems during the autumn of the year 1009, after Bosparan's fall. We all met on the journey, as it so often happens. Hmm. How might it have been? Good of you to join us on land, young man. We'll camp here tonight before we reach Nadaret tomorrow. You promised to make yourself useful during our journey. I forgot all about that, or I would have given you something to do much sooner. Lend old Pete a hand to set up camp for the night. We'll set off at first light tomorrow. Someone from the boat! What was your name again? Oh, right! You're the one who couldn't afford to pay the full fare, the one that I can use for odd jobs. Sorry, I don't know how I can forget that. Friendly? <laughs> well, if you enjoy working so much, you can do my job as well. Or not? Who knows what a mess you'd make of it? I seem to remember that if someone chose to waste their money on betting instead of buying, Tinder Fungus and Furdock. No, that's not true. Somebody stole the money, and I was so shocked by the theft that I forgot to buy the tinder fungus. Really? Well, someone will have to find some dry tinder fungus somewhere on this island, and you are going with them, just in case. I'm not scared. I would go on my own if it wasn't so dumb. Make sure she comes back in one piece, or you'll have me to deal with. Jana is in enough trouble as it is. And then you can tell me what he whispered to you. Don't you dare. And Jana, no dawdling and jabbering about. There's work to be done. Come on, tell me. What did he whisper to you? <laughs> There's never a dull moment with you about. I think there might be some tinder fungus inside the ruined tower. Let's take a look there.
It's as wet as a bowl of kosh cabbage broth. We won't find a shred of dry tinder fungus out here if Effort has blessed the entire island with his wonders. I know. While we're here, let's take a look inside the ruined tower. I bet it's still nice and dry inside. So you like adventures, do you? Me too. I mean, I like to listen to stories about adventures. Come on, let's go. should go in there. Uh, th there seems to be a cave in there, and, and in Pete's tales, only one person ever gets out of a cave alive. Really? Well, I'll trust you this time. We'll be alright if we stick together. You go ahead. I'll watch your back. don't you? Wait a moment. I want to ask you something. We never get the opportunity to talk in private on the ship. Tell me, what do you think of the other passengers? Hmm, well, if you're in such a hurry, perhaps you'll be more talkative later. It's a relief to see that you have returned unharmed. We were a bit worried, especially Pete. What do you mean, we're worried? I still am worried. Shaky Legs Carl told me all about what happened. Good news at last. Pete, stop babbling and take care of the fire, all right? <sighs> you, take care of the fire, Jenna. But... And you go. Tell your three traveling companions over there that the camp is set for the night. Do not otherwise disturb them. Understood? Hey, have you been listening to us? Oh, thank you for that reassuring piece of information. I'm sure we've earned a nap. I have to agree with him there. I'll sleep like a log after all that cursed rocking and rolling about on the ship. Nobody's going to bed yet. 
Or have either of you slackers come up with a good idea yet? Uh, hmm. Ah, you heard me. Tell the captain that we'll be awake a while yet. Don't bother about us. You can catch them sleep now. Have you spoken with the gentleman? Well, that's their business, isn't it? Thank you for helping to set the camp for the night. Pete has laid out your bedroll. It's the one with the yellow blanket over by the fire. Sleep well, comrade. Wake up! We're under attack! Nadaret early the next day after that nighttime episode. Of course, we didn't want to leave our brave, unconscious comrade in arms behind on board the Star of Ferdok. I would never have dreamed that that poor devil would end up saving us later. His beard. Look at this bump. Filthy cowards. Whoever survives a blow like this must rank high.